Thank you all for being here tonight. There's so many people responsible for making the Duke program great, and it's tough to get them all in one place, but tonight we got most of you. And I'm privileged to be able to address you all. There are also many people in here that have put up with me and my two brothers, Miles and Mason, for eight consecutive years now. And I want to thank you for helping my family in so many ways. As the last brother, I'm tasked with closing the door behind me and making sure I've left the program better than when I found it, which is, which I haven't done with my dorm room. Uh, but uh, Emil, Matt, and Grayson are really good at cleaning, so that's all right. Um, I, I do believe the Plumleys have left a positive impact on the Duke program, but not nearly the impact that Duke has made on the Plumleys, on me. And that's what I want to talk to you about tonight, how I've grown, how my family has grown here at Duke University. When I think of my growth, I think of crossing bridges. Coach K has always talked to me about crossing bridges in my life. In other words, overcoming obstacles in your way as a player and as a person. Crossing these bridges isn't easy to do, and in fact, it's human nature to normally avoid them altogether. Thankfully, I had a coach who wouldn't allow me to do that. Coach constantly pushed me to face my challenges head on, whether it was redshirting my freshman year, overcoming a broken foot the next year, maturing as a player in person the following years, or becoming a leader for this year's team, coach constantly challenged me. Are you gonna get better or are you gonna quit? Are you gonna stay where you are or are you gonna cross that bridge? Looking back at my career, I cannot tell you how great I feel, how proud I am to have stuck with it and to become a true Duke player. Because there were definitely times where I felt like I couldn't cross that bridge times I felt like quitting. But how could I quit? How could I quit when I had the support of my family? How could I give up when I had two brothers in Miles and Mason who had worked so hard to blaze a trail for me? How could I stop caring when I had teammates that cared so much about me? And I actually, I have a good story that I feel like embodies how much my teammates care about me. We had just lost to Notre Dame. I had played the worst game of my career. The entire team was counting on me and I let them down. Feelings wise, I was probably at my absolute lowest. After the loss, I went back to my room. I grabbed enough food to last me a few days so I wouldn't have to leave. And uh, I turned on the TV. I, I wanted to disappear. And it was at that moment that Justin Robinson, J-Rob Swag, walked into my room, and this son of a gun, for lack of a better word, I had to write son of a gun, and so I didn't use the expletive I wanted to use. Um, this son of a gun, I, I shot him the meanest look, and every part of my body language was saying, get the hell out of my room. Uh, a blind person could have seen that I didn't want you in my room. Um, but this guy ignored it all, and came and sat next to me and watched TV with me for hours. I, uh, I asked him about his sense. And you see, he, he didn't want me to be alone. He, uh... <laughs> he didn't want me to wallow in my self-pity. He cared enough to do not what I wanted, but to do what I needed. And I can think of hundreds of other stories of my other teammates doing the same. Still though, even when I found myself at these low points, how could I stop working? How could I stop working when I had a mentor like Coach Will Stevens, being like a father to me, teaching me day in and day out what hard work really means? How could I lose my drive when I had a coach like Nate James driving me every day to be the best Duke player I could be? And how could I stop believing in myself when I had a coach who believed in me like you did, Coach K? Yes, I've grown a lot at Duke. And looking back at the bridges I've crossed, I know beyond a shadow of a doubt there's no way I would have been able to cross those bridges without you all by my side, without Duke taking me by the arm and teaching me how to be great. We crossed one bridge together this year by becoming a true Duke team. 
embodying all the characteristics and upholding the same standards of past great Duke teams. Tonight, I'm grateful we have a brief moment to stop and look back at what we've accomplished and how much we've grown. But tomorrow, I want you to press onward. I want you to do something unforgettable next year because I know you can and cross that next bridge together. It won't be easy, it never is. But I'm telling you, my teammates, you, the parents, stay the course, throw yourself completely into Duke, into winning, and you won't regret it. I haven't. As for me, this is not the end. I'll be pressing onward too on my own, but I won't be leaving Duke behind. I'm taking with me the values I've learned from this great program. I leave here confident in all my future endeavors because I know Duke has armed me with the strength to win any battle. I will continue to grow. I will continue to cross bridges. I will be great. Thank you.